So let's give you a quick tour of the room that we are staying in. So if by any chance you are booking this particular hotel, make sure you take the one which has a view uh, because the view from here is pretty good. It's a nice view to wake up to. Yes, probably you can have your morning coffee or tea here. And it's a nice uh, room as well. It's quite uh, spacious, clean. And, uh, yeah, a good view. I think that's all you need for a good stay. The property Radoshri is quite aptly located. It is within a distance of about 10 minutes from the town centre, yet being away from the crowd, overlooking the mountains and the tea gardens. It's a well-maintained place with an homely vibe. The best part about the place is the dining area which is also a very well-stocked library. You can spend some relaxing time just staying indoors, enjoying the chilly weather with a cup of hot tea from the Nilgiris, reading your favourite authors. There is also a small working lounge area where you can catch up on your work if required. For people still enjoying work from home can also come and work here from amidst the tranquility of the mountains. Not a bad idea, isn't it? We rested for a bit and now we've stepped out. We are uh, on the way to uh, Sims Park. We will show you around and wherever else we go after this. If you are uh, enjoying our content, Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. It will mean a lot to us and will uh, help us to bring you more such travel related content and videos. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Sims Park is situated in the heart of Kunur and is renowned for its diverse collection of plants and trees. It houses numerous exotic and indigenous species including ornamental plants, flowering trees and medicinal herbs. The park is spread over an area of 12 hectares of land, beautifully landscaped with well-maintained lawns, terraced flower beds and meandering pathways. There is also a glass house and a rose garden. It also has a small boating area with paddle boats for couples and families. In the month of May, it hosts a two days flower show organized by the Department of Horticulture, which showcases various exotic varieties of plants and attracts more than 25,000 tourists from different parts of the world. It's not just a place for botany enthusiasts, but also a very serene and scenic spot for everyone to enjoy a leisurely stroll amidst nature's beauty. The park is open on all days of the week from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m.
now we are on our way out very peaceful place uh, you can bring your kids or you can just come and spend few hours here uh, it's a nice place to come for morning walks yeah that's true it's nice and green and you can breathe in a lot of fresh oxygen and some amazing huge trees different varieties of trees are here so that's also pretty fascinating to see yeah Next we headed to the Wellington Lake which is located quite close to the Sims Park. It offers a serene and peaceful atmosphere for visitors to take leisurely strolls and enjoy the natural surroundings. If you have less time in hand then you can probably skip the Wellington Lake and head to the Madras Regiment Museum. which is located in Wellington about 3 kilometers from Kunur and is quite a fascinating place to visit The museum was established to preserve and showcase the rich history and heritage of the Madras Regiment, one of the oldest and most distinguished regiments of the Indian Army. The Madras Regiment has a history dating back to the 1750s. The museum houses a remarkable collection of artifacts, documents, photographs and memorabilia related to the Madras Regiment's history. It provides insights into the regiment's role in various wars, campaigns and significant events in India's military history. Some of the key exhibits you can find in the museum includes uniforms, weapons, medals, flags and other military equipment used by the Madras regiment over the years. There are also displays dedicated to the regiment's participation in World War 1 and World War 2. The museum serves as an educational and informative destination for visitors interested in India's military history and the role of the Madras regiment in the country's defense. Photography and videography is prohibited inside the museum hence we were unable to capture However, the museum offers a fascinating glimpse into the military history of the Madras regiment and its contributions to India's defense. It's a must visit for history enthusiasts and those interested in the armed forces. Promised to you in our last video, we came back to 180 Macaiver to give you a glimpse of the property in daylight. We spend the rest of the evening here at their cafe called La Belle Vie, enjoying the aroma and warmth of the freshly brewed Nilgiri tea amidst the beautiful landscapes. <music> 